Hello everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most important misconceptions about Newton's second law. Now, what is Newton's second law? Remember, this law states that the resultant force acting on an object is equal to the rate of change of momentum of that object. And we have a little problem here, show that Newton's second law can be expressed as F is equal to MA if the mass is constant. Now let's get started by just writing down Newton's second law using mathematics. Anytime we have the rate of change of some quantity, we're going to be dividing by delta t. So the net force, let's just say that this is equal to f, will be equal to delta p, which is our change of momentum, divided by delta t. So overall, this quantity here is the rate of change of momentum. Now, delta p being the change of momentum will be equal to the final momentum minus the initial momentum. Remember, momentum is mass times velocity, so we can express this as m times v, where v is the final velocity, take away m times u, where u is the initial velocity. Let's make this absolutely clear as well. So let me just write down the rest of the fraction. So this is divided by delta t. This quantity here is our final momentum. So this here is our final momentum. And this quantity over here, mu, is our initial momentum. Now, if the mass is constant, we can factorize this. So if you are proving this in an exam question, what I would do is just simply write uh, that assuming that the mass is equal to a constant. What we can do is factorize this out. So if the mass is constant, we can write down that F will be equal to the mass times v take away u divided by delta t. But notice that we can only do this if the mass is constant. Well, have a look at that. We have v minus u over delta t. This quantity over here that I'm just about to highlight is actually our acceleration because that's the rate of change of velocity change of speed divided by change in time. So this means that the force is equal to ma, but only if the mass is constant. So this is quite a typical problem that we often get in A-level physics. Okay, folks, well, hopefully you found this video useful. If there are any questions, do let me know. Also, if you happen to be revising at the moment, I'm going to provide a link in the description of my revision video, which is all about Newton's law and momentum. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.